Hey, what's up? How's it going? It is me from the future. Uh, I just realized that when I was editing that I just jumped straight into this vlog. Basically this time um, it's not going to be like so much of a studio vlog, it's not going to be as business focused. It's more of like a daily vlog in lockdown. Um, so a few more kind of lifestyle -y bits in there. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd warn you, give you a heads up before you dive in. So here is how my first week in lockdown has been. Hope you're all taking care, stay safe, stay home. It's day one of official lockdown. London lockdown. How are you feeling? Yeah, I've drink, 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 drink. Been drinking a lot more water than normal. Uh, currently procrastinating. Cleaned the house, hoovered. I've done my hour of outside activity. Yeah. I have not. Um, yeah, we've been working together from home for like a week now. It's been okay. It's Pablo been locks himself in his room, I lock myself in my room and occasionally we come and annoy each other. How, what's the most annoying thing about me so far? Well, this morning I wasn't allowed to eat my cereal. Oh, I was going to say the most annoying <laughs> thing about you is the way you fucking eat your cereal, so I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> I've never heard he he fills the bowl with three different types of cereal, which is terrible rash thing, and then gets a teaspoon, a teaspoon, and I'd swear he just sits and goes like this, bum, 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 off the sides for 15 minutes. That's... Number one, I take a little bit of each cereal, so it's fine for rationing. It's the same as one cereal, one bowl of one cereal. The teaspoon... See, you can't even get the lie out because it's such a lie. The teaspoon makes it last longer, so it makes me feel fuller for longer. Just brain tricks. Well, get a rubber teaspoon. I don't have a rubber teaspoon. Well, I'll make you one. I'll wrap, one, I'll wrap my teaspoon in cling film. I don't think, we don't have cling film. I don't think that'll work. Tin foil. No. Um, so that's how it's going. We've not killed each other yet, but yes. if I hear the fucking town crier of cereal tomorrow morning, there might be a divorce on the cards. We'll see. Bye. Go to work! I've uploaded my digital downloads as promised in last video. Hopefully people will start downloading them because it's been an hour and no one has and that makes me sad because I put a lot of effort into them and I just like the idea of people colouring in my work. Um, I'm gonna try and do some digital cards now and yeah, that's kind of it. There's not much going on just now, is there? But I will keep you updated if anything does happen. I'm standing in the same place before, but it is actually the evening now. Um, I just updated all the information on my website today. I put colouring sheets were up last week, but I've also put gift cards up. Um, just kind of stuff like that, just boring, boring admin stuff, which Pablo was finishing off for me because it had to be hard coded. I can't do that. That's why you live with a web developer. We've still got um, quite a lot of fresh food left. Every couple of weeks, we go down to the greengrocers and we just pick up like loads of fresh stuff and we bulk cook and stuff normally. So we've just still got a few leftovers there. I keep itching my nose, not because I'm sick, it's because it is allergy season. And uh, that's why all my makeup is also gone from around this area. But yeah, this is what we're doing tonight. So we got some red onion, some courgette, some broccoli, mushrooms, whoop, tofu, and then I am just roasting some potatoes in the oven, and then I will put that in like a sauce with peanut butter, soy sauce, a little bit of mirin, and a little bit of rice, wine, vinegar and just stir that all together so it's like a stir fry um, but not with rice, with potatoes instead. One of my favourite cafes used to do something similar to this and we kind of copied that um, and we're just using up what we've got. Um, the fresh stuff's all about to go off so yeah we're just using up what we've got and making meals out of it at the moment. Day two of quarantine. We still call it quarantine, it's so funny. Um, 
but I decided to work out but everyone and their auntie has taken up running in my running routes and I don't really feel comfortable going out without like a mask or whatever on and I'm not gonna run like in a hazmat suit so I just did like a workout in the back garden which is there and Pablo's office is there so that's uh, not distracting at all really how is that for you? It's fine. I put my headphones in and I don't really worry about it. Okay. There's a party happening next door. Somebody was sawing earlier. This guy skipping over there. He was this morning anyway. Um, it's fine. It's a beautiful day. Um, a few people have ordered my colouring sheets, which is really nice. So I'm going to print some of those off and kind of package them up. And then go out on my one walk. So yeah, normally I would go for a run. But I'm going to save my one walk for if I need to go to the post office or if we need any like urgent supplies or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's day two. It's actually not day two for us, but official lockdown, day two so far. I need to basically do some work. morning uh this morning i'm gonna do some orders some of my coloring sheets i'm sold i'm now printing them off and sending them for people if they want them and i've sold a few cards which is really really good um i'm still popping in the little postcards with those uh hopefully they're making their way to some people um so my one day one day a walk oh my god i've not had coffee yet my one walk a day um will be to the post app not to the post office, the post box. I'm only doing post box stuff at the moment because I just don't really want to go into the post office. I'm trying to have as like minimal contact as possible. Just me by myself going to the post box. on today's one bit of exercise and I found this like beautiful bit of forest which is like hidden behind our golf course and I see the occasional cyclist and the occasional person who should not be out for a walk like an old person it's definitely over 70s but look how beautiful it is whoa who knew this was on my doorstep I didn't showered and back from my run uh, that was fun. It wasn't really a run. I It was more of a walk, but I had a nice time. Um, so when I first went out, I was like really anxious and I actually thought I was going to have a panic attack because I was out without a mask on. And yeah, I was just really anxious, even though there is plenty of space to like stay away from people. Um, but then, I don't know, like I got into my stride a little bit and then I decided everyone I saw was a zombie and I had to run away from them, which is quite a fun game. Did mean I got stuck in a bush, uh, scratched my leg, got lost, got stuck in mud. So my pace was terrible. It took me like 40 minutes to do 5.5K, which is uh, 
worse than when I very first started running. Um, but the important thing is I got outside, had a nice time, stayed away from people. Stayed really far away from people. The people I came closest contact to were two people on bikes and they were like at least 12 feet away. So we good. Um, but yeah, back washed. It's now kind of lunchtime, but I want to start doing some more of that Coney Island drawing so I don't get in the same stage as I did with the London drawing where I'm just fully sick of it. So I'm gonna do that this afternoon and then I'm gonna make a thinking of you card. Uh, I think Pablo's gonna try and brave the supermarket, which I'm actually pretty nervous about, but there's a few things we need because our yeast died and I was like, I'm great at this stuff. Like, we're gonna bake bread. We actually have like bread flour and stuff anyway. We didn't like go and panic by that. Like apparently the whole of the UK decided they were gonna be bakers all of a sudden, which was wild. Um, we had all that stuff and we had yeast, which was obviously old because I tried to bake bread yesterday and it died. It was just like, didn't rise at all. Um, so yeah, we need to go and just get like a few little bits for the week. Then hopefully we won't have to go for two weeks. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Boris Johnson has corona. That's, I don't know, it doesn't really surprise me. Every, everyone's getting it. But um, yeah, that's a thing that's happened here. Let's stop talking and go to work. Do I have lunch? Yeah, I think so. Everyone's like, oh my god, my digital social life is so much busier than my normal social life. And I'm like, oh, ours isn't. We need to arrange some digital dates with our friends. Do you have a head in this? I know you do. <laughs> sure. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, you gotta go in the box. Yeah. Even Neil being like, I had to cancel some of my virtual dates for my other virtual dates. Yeah, Bang and I are the same. They want to drink on Saturday at 4 30. We should join. I don't have them and stuff though. I can say, yeah, or we can share. I've just been drawing kind of most of the afternoon and getting yeah, pretty much nowhere because it's so detailed. Pablo ventured out to the supermarket. Whoa, your hair is insane. It looks like a toupee. Is that better? Yeah. Maybe I'll just... <laughs> no, you need to tell me how the supermarket was today. Uh, it was fine, actually. It was... You came back and you looked like you'd been to war. Um, so there was a queue outside. People were like a good two or three meters apart from each other, which is good. And the staff were like marshalling that. Um, it was fairly busy inside, but not rammed. Like if you, kind of like if you were to go at like, I don't know, 10 at night, that sort of level of busy. But the shelves were like fairly empty. A lot of the, like your panic buy type things were gone. So there was like um, no soap, no, nothing cleaning orientated. All the cans were gone. All the bread was gone. There was loads of veg, weirdly. Um, no one's buying fresh, because no. I don't think a lot of people know how to bulk cook, because like, that's really all, I mean, we got what we needed, because that's all really we needed was, we'd run out of fresh stuff, and we like tofu. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. Yeah. All the long, all the long life milk was gone. I got like the last oat milk. Um, but anyway, that was then. This that is was now. Then. This is now. Pablo's been having a breakdown ever since. Yeah, I'm okay though. I'll be honest. Um, we're setting up for our um, social evening of activities. That didn't make sense. You know what I'm trying to say. Virtual pub. Virtual pub. So we have a box of wine, which is the only wine we could get. We've got uh, some beer. We have this. We have the iPad. We have the webcam. And hopefully soon we have friends or else this is like a lot for nothing happening. <laughs> See, someone said it. Oh wow. Potato. <laughs> 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 plug. A plug. 
A plug. <laughs> Good morning. I always have wet hair on here. Uh, it's because I've always just come out of the shower. Um, Pablo has gone on a weird cleaning spree this morning. I have uh, not. Uh, I need to do a couple of orders, which is really nice. Uh, last night was cute, like having a little um, sort of, it was just a chat really, then we played like Pictionary kind of thing, it's called like Draw It I think, on House Party um, with our friends, it was our friend Izzy's 30th, um, so we just kind of gave a little cheers to her and hung out. Um, these regular online like hangouts are actually like pretty fun, obviously they're not as fun as the real thing, but yeah we, you've got people kind of from all over the place. Um, all in the one room which is you know pretty rare for us usually we do that on our snowboarding holiday and if there's like a wedding but um yeah it's nice to have everyone in the same room for a change um today's plan i don't know uh, i need to do instagram pictures but i say that every day who knows if we'll get that done pablo's gone on as say like a cleaning spree i'm more in a let's uh hang out and watch lord of the rings all day kind of mood but i think he'll probably win is that to wear like real clothes today Jeans in the house, who dis? Um, to make it feel like a weekend, you know? Like, so it's like, I'm getting ready to not leave the house, but like, at least I feel maybe more weekendy. So, yeah, I'm just blabbing on again. This is gonna be the longest video of your life. Right, let's see these orders. sort of um, cycle cleaner man and he can't sit still for more than three seconds. What you doing now? Taking the lunch. Oh okay. What are you having? I'm gonna have hummus with a salad and toast. Who made hummus? Who made hummus? I'm gonna clean out this cupboard and see what the fuck's in it. This is a perfect time, actually, to clean out your cupboards and see what the hell's in there. Because I'm sure there's way more food in your cupboard than you think there are. We have it stockpiled, but every time I do an order, I'm like, oh, let's get a polenta. Let's do this. Let's do that. So we've got loads and loads of just like weird half packets in our cupboard. We've always got a really good kind of store cupboard because we cook a lot at home. And I work from home. So that's why Pablo's in my fucking way. One thing I realised uh, as being in the house a lot together, doesn't matter what I want to do in the house or where I want to go, Pablo will be there. Maybe. Exactly in the way. Maybe it doesn't matter what I want to do, you always have to follow me. Ooh, interesting. Right, let's get cleaning. Be ready, be prepared for a montage. 